cats, how you doing? This is my attempt at a cat video. I'm shamelessly trying to go for more views. What do you think? <laughs> oh. There's Maggie, Magpie. She likes to bite me. I think we're friends. <laughs> I'll put her down there and I'll start this lesson. Today I'm going to talk about low D harmonicas why I use them and why I think they're so good. The low D for me, it's really essential kit for playing Celtic tunes on the harmonica. It's not the only way to do it, but it's the way that I like to do it for most tunes that are in the key of D or E minor. So low D, it's an octave lower than your standard high D harmonica. It's got all the same notes, just an octave lower, and that octave that you're in is the same register as the fiddle. So it sounds more fiddle-like. Um, I find the low reeds quite a pleasant sound. I love playing low harmonicas in general. You play these a lot at the high end for a lot of these tunes. Now if you play a high D at the high end, that's fine, you just have to be very careful about playing at the high end so you don't get it squeaking, squealing, that kind of thing. And also I think just when you play a high D for a lot of these tunes, sometimes, um, I don't know, when you're playing with other people it can just sound a little bit full on sometimes, just a little, sometimes it can sound a bit out of place. Um, if you want to cut through uh, in, in a session or something, then maybe a higher pitched high D harmonica might be good for that. But if you want to sort of blend in with everybody else, then the low D is a much better choice, I think. So low D isn't your only choice. For example, the Paddy Richter tuning can be very good for playing tunes. So with Paddy Richter tuning, a Paddy Richter D, the B note has been added on three blow. So instead of being an A, like it is a normal Richter tuning, it's a tone higher. So you get that B in there, which makes all the difference for playing these tunes. Compare that to the low D, you've got the full scale at the higher end, or the full scales at the higher end. So you you concentrate more sort of your mid to high end that you're playing, whereas on a Paddy Richter it's more mid to low end that you're playing these tunes. And the low D can actually go lower as well than the Paddy Richter tuning. Sometimes there might be just things you can play at the really low end which can sound great too. So sometimes I do use Paddy Richter tuning. It just depends. There might be the odd tune where I prefer that, just the way the notes are set out. But as a rule, most tunes low D is just my go-to harmonica for key of D or key of E minor. So I'll just play a little bit on my low D as a bit of a musical interlude. And then I'll talk about some of the choices that you have if you want to get one. So if you want to get yourself a low D, there's so many options out there, so many that you can choose from. So I haven't tried every one that's out there, I've only tried a few different ones. So I'll just go over some of the ones that I've played and I've got. So what I just played then, that was on a Lee Oscar low D. Lee Oscar, I like Lee Oscar harps, I play them a lot. They're not the flashiest harps in the world, I think they're a really good value for money 
harmonica. They're not the best one you can get, they're not the worst one you can get. I just use them a lot as workhorses when I'm playing. I've always liked Lee Oscar. Um, if you're looking for a, a harmonica, you're on a budget, you don't want to spend too much, you want to get something fairly decent for the money, uh, Lee Oscar could be a good choice. This one is a Seidel low D. It's an 1847 low D. It's really different from other harmonicas I've played. It's really quite big. You can see that. I'll, I'll show you here. I'll, compared to the Lee Oscar, see the difference? It's really wide. So that means that this part here, it's, it's um, harder to get deep into your mouth, but at the same time, I don't know if you need to, because you can cover sort of this area here with your lips as well. It gives it coverage. So... So yeah, it plays really well. Um, it, it could be a good one for lip purses if you you know, have, have a problem with getting the harmonica deep into your mouth. That might compensate, perhaps, a bit for that. So you've got more coverage with your lips, perhaps over, over this part. You still want to try and get it very thin. But it's not really practical to play it like, say, you would play this one. And, you know, you can get that. I'll get that one right into my mouth, but this one here, it's really, you're really playing on that edge a lot more. So, okay, for that reason, it's not my favourite low D. I think I prefer to get it deeper into my mouth, but for some people it might be a really good option. Another thing too, it, it came valved, and valves kind of do my head in a bit, I don't know, I just, I just don't like valves, I don't like all the messing around you have to do to stop them from sticking and all that kind of stuff, so I just ripped all the valves out of it. It's still pretty airtight, because that's the reason that you put the valves on, or one of the reasons, one of the main reasons, to make, make it a lot more airtight when you're playing. It's still a nice airtight harmonica. So I, I do like it, I don't play it all the time, but it is a nice harmonica, it's got a nice sound to it, it's got a nice smooth kind of action to it. So that's um, an Seidel 1847 low D. So this is a Hona Rocket Progressive low D. There's the box, I've still got the box. This one, I really like this harp. This is a really nice harmonica. It's, um, it's just really smooth, really easy to play. Great for playing reels and things where you, where you need precision, you need to play fast. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a, a great harmonica. Uh, Hona do a Thunderbird low D. I've never tried one of those. It's more expensive than this one, so I'd assume if you get what you pay for, it's an even better harmonica. I'll probably get one at some point and play around with it. Um, if you've played Thunderbird or if you've played other low D harmonicas, why not leave a comment and let me know what you're playing, what you think of it, and um, read, read the comments, we can spread the knowledge a bit about these harmonicas. So that's my introduction to low D harmonicas. A great bit of kit, I think, for playing fiddle tunes. Makes life a lot more fun. So, see you next time.